so with this one, you see it's uh, just a bundle of Visual Basic, C++, Fox Pro, and InterDev. So if I open up Visual Basic, uh, you have the form inside of another window. You have your uh, toolbox right here. Oh, and it has the little creator right here. Then we can double click on this and you'll get a code window. We'll hit play. And I can type in this. Click do something and it does it. And that's how you program stuff in Visual Basic. So and then I can do the almost the exact same thing with C++. So we'll do most likely if you've never done any programming, you probably don't know what the hell is going on over here, but and then we go to Fox Pro. So what Fox Pro basically is is it's like a database software, so I I can create add. And it's a Samsung Smart Fridge 600 SUX. Okay, now jumping forward to 2002, Visual Studio.net, where you see the introduction of C Sharp. And it was released somewhere around 2001. Don't know if it's before or after Windows X. I guess it's supposed to complement Windows XP with this, even though this 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 looks more retro than this. Doesn't really have the Luna the lunacy of this. Let's start. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Go to C Sharp, and we can create our Windows application in C Sharp, which is my forte when developing in Visual Studio. So just like the 6.0, you have the little dots around the stuff that came included. We'll program the add button, then we'll put in a I can take that on and off. You have the stuff you have today. We can take a look at now C++ it's its own league. C Sharp is more in line with uh, Visual Basic actually and not C++. And database, extensive, you can create Visual Studio plugins. Well, let's for jump over to .NET 2003. So you have C Sharp Basic and now you get Visual J Sharp. And then you have C++ which is again its own league. You have Visual Basic, C Sharp and if that's not good enough you got J Sharp. Um, I do not know what J Sharp is, so I'm going to create a project and I'm going to see what it looks like when I create, when it auto generates code when I click on a button. So, click on button. Um, it kind of looks like a C Sharp. You see that they're pretty much alike, except for a few things. While they're both uh, inspired by the C paradigms and they're object oriented, C Sharp with their own thing, you know, instead of import in Java, they're using using. The J Sharp is, resembles more of Java. So if you're more comfortable in Java than C Sharp, you use J Sharp. 2005. As you can see, as you can see, it looks much more modernized. You can see it now calls, just calls itself Visual Studio and not Microsoft Development Environment. So create a new project, create a project, drag in a button. I can freely move this button around, hit play, and the default icon is modernized as well. That's the icon design it has to this day, actually. You have more options for creating uh, programs like you just have Visual Basic and that. But what you can also now do, because Microsoft has started to dabble in the smart device market. So you can create the uh, programs for Windows CE, smartphone, and pocket PC. Hit play and watch. And as you can see, what you have here is a virtual uh, pocket device.
And now, you have... Boop. Boop. That's when they... I don't really know much about the Microsoft Windows Mobile stuff. But yeah, you can go, get out of your program and uh, run stuff for... Run pocket applications as if you downloaded an emulator for this. You can even call someone. <laughs> Wait, is this actually... <laughs> This is a fake network, but like, <laughs> you can actually, I guess, fake call someone. I'm not gonna put in my phone number for you. You're, you guys ain't getting my phone number, so. And then you got starter kits. So this is one for a screensaver. 2008, when Windows Vista came out, or after Windows Vista came out. Cause there's like, so you can go in, and now you got more stuff the program for and you're developing on 3.5 now so you can create stuff a program for not only Windows but you can also create plugins for 2003 so they kind of condensed the smart device templates down from what it looks like I get a progress bar um, and a list box press play oh, I guess this is the one from access from 2003 and uh, it's uh, installing it through ActiveSync this so then you can click hit close go to programs and go into word close out of word oh yeah you can play games you want to play games you want to play games 2010 now this the logo has massively changed get to a new project as you can see, you can't make programs for smart devices anymore. They kind of like did away with that. You can create your Windows applications, your, your web applications, and your Office stuff for developing for Azure. SharePoint. And you can now develop applications for, for something called Silverlight. It's just like Microsoft's version of Flash. And I can hit play on this one. And this brings me the, the Windows Forms one. Hit play. It's just like WinForms, except you got like XML at the bottom. That's about it for 2010.